Hello children. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to do subtraction of two numbers which are representing lengths in meter and centimeter in decimal. But before that, let's take some simple problems without decimals. Let's say you have 8 meters of cloth in your shop and a customer buys 5 meter of cloths how much cloth is spending with you in the shop? Let's try to find out. So we write meter at the top and we write 8 meter minus 5 meter because we had 8 meter in the beginning and 5 meter is sold. So we do minus in means subtraction. So 8 meter minus 5 meter and in the answer also we write meter here. So 8 minus 5 is 3. So we have 3 meter of cloth remaining in the shop. It's like a simple single digit subtraction problem. Only thing is there is a unit of measurement which we keep it consistent in meter here, meter here, meter here. Let's take another problem. Let's take little larger number now. 28 meter minus 13 meter. And just like any other two digit subtraction we write the ones position below ones position of both the numbers and the tens position below tens position. So 28 meter minus 13 meter underline. The answer would be 8 minus 3. We start from the ones position. 8 minus 3 is 5. 2 minus 1 is 1. So the answer is 15 meter. Right? Sound simple? Now let's take a problem with centimeter. 83 centimeter minus 44 centimeter. We just write again the two numbers just right below each other and the units also below each other and the same unit we keep. We don't mix one number with meter and another with centimeter. We either take a problem with both numbers with meter or both number with just centimeter. So centimeter below centimeter and then we write it like this the answer is also centimeter so 3 minus 4 as we saw in our two digit subtraction lesson with borrower with borrowing 3 minus 4 cannot be done right because you can't take away a bigger number from a smaller number so what do we do in that case we do borrowing 3 tells to its neighbor 8 can you give me a 1 8 says sure I can give you a 1 but then I will be reduced by 1 so 8 becomes 7 and the 1 is lent by 8 to 3 so 3 becomes 1 3 13 now we can easily do 13 minus 4 because this 13 is greater than 4 previously it was just 3 that's why we borrowed a 1 so it became 13 13 minus 4 is 9 now we come here, 7 minus 4 is 3. So 83 centimeter minus 44 centimeter is equal to 39 centimeter. Remember, the units have to be consistent and same. Now let's take a problem which is having meter as well as centimeter. Let's say we had 2 meter and 50 centimeter, and of that we want to take a weight or reduce. Or subtract 2 meter 20 centimeter so we write meter at the top and centimeter on the next to it and put a dotted line below it and then we write then the number representing meter on the left side both the numbers one below each other and the same thing also for the centimeter and now we start doing a subtraction just like a three digit subtraction there are three digits here three digits here and you start from the rightmost digit and you subtract 0 minus 0 is 0 5 minus 2 is 3 2 minus 2 is 0 so the answer of this problem is 0 meter and 30 centimeter is remaining right so what we have done is taken a problem initially with just meters then we took a problem with just centimeter and now we took a problem with meter as well as centimeter and we have two digits here and why are there two digits in centimeter because we know one meter is equal to hundred centimeter 
and how many zeros are there in 100 two zeros so we have two positions after the dotted line to represent the centimeter from 0 to 99 if it becomes 100 centimeter it moves to meter right so that's why two digits only let's take another problem 35 meter and 61 centimeter minus 27 meter and 48 centimeter sounds big but it's very simple children if you know four digit subtraction that's what we are going to do we are going to start from the rightmost digit and going from here to this side 1 minus 8 we cannot do it because 8 is greater than 1 so we do a borrow so 6 becomes 5 1 comes here 11 minus 8 1 became 11 so 11 minus 8 is 3 now we come to the next position 5 minus 4 is 1 then we go to the next position which is 5 minus 7 oops we cannot do it because 7 is greater than 5 so we do a borrow so to its left neighbor 3 becomes 2 1 comes here 15 minus 7 15 minus 7 is 8 this position 2 minus 2 is 0 so we started from left, rightmost position and keep going left 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 and keep doing just a single digit subtraction and if the number above is smaller than the number below we do a borrow to it from its left neighbor so the answer here is 8 meter and 13 centimeter now let's take a problem with decimal we have replaced this dotted line with the actual decimal point 7.40 meter minus 1.30 meter and in the answer also we write point here so how do we do it 0 minus 0 0 4 minus 3 is 1 7 minus 1 is 6 so the answer is 6.10 meter so remember we write the same unit here we go from the rightmost position and keep going left and left and left and we ensure decimal point is below decimal point the number of units after decimal point are two units because one meter is 100 centimeter so 7.40 meter is nothing but 7 meter and 40 centimeter let's take another problem let's say we have 85.00 meter minus 48.65 meter so how do we do it we write the meter thing before the decimal together and same thing after decimal points for both the numbers and finally in the answer also we write point and the meter and this is what we are going to find out and now we do a simple four digit subtraction starting from the rightmost position 0 minus 5 oops we cannot do it because we know 5 is greater than 0 so we do try to do a borrow 0 0 says oops I cannot give you anything because I am myself 0 it moves to the next position 5 can you give me a 1 5 says sure I can give you 1 so 5 becomes 4 and you come here but remember 5 is before the decimal point but it doesn't matter think this problem you are solving just like four digit subtraction assuming you write decimal points correctly and the digits after it so this zero but this itself is zero so it tried to borrow from its another left neighbor five became four and one came here now it is ten it can actually give a one to this so ten became nine and this one came here right so now we can subtract 10 minus 5 is 5 remember this 10 after lending to this 0 became 9 so we should do 9 minus 6 3 this 5 after lending a 1 to this 0 became 4 so we should do 4 minus 8 oops there is a problem because 8 is greater than 4 so we do simple nothing but a borrow it became 7 and one came here so 14 minus 8 is 6 7 minus 4 is 3 so the answer to this problem is 36.35 meter or in other words 36 meter and 35 centimeter 
fine so doing a subtraction of lengths using decimal points is very simple as long as you follow simple rules write both the numbers below each other write decimal below decimal in the number as well as in the result ensure you have two digits after the decimal point because one meter is 100 centimeter ensure you write one's position below one's tens position below tens for the number before decimal point and write the units correctly meter 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 and then you start doing from right to left to left to left and keep doing just single digit subtraction like this like this right so that is all for now children bye bye